go. You, I emailed you, so make sure you check your email. It, I, Carol's going to borrow your hand for this one. There's a brief description of all the different little sessions that you're going to have today. We're going to start off with a keynote speaker. Mr. Fairman is here to lead us, lead us in our direction today. Um, but then you can choose to go to any of the three sessions that are happening every hour. It's up to you what you want to enhance and what you want to learn more about and what you might integrate. None of us are telling you you have to. What we're telling you is it's out there. So you have support staff here at Castle Dome that can lead you there. People that will answer your questions and open your eyes and support you as you go through this. So today is just a morning to explore. Your afternoon is on your own getting ready for tomorrow. We'll be around. I know that you will love today. You will enjoy it. It will be exciting and invigorating. And the ideas are endless and the possibilities are there. So with that, I want to introduce Krista Fairman. Hi. I have to tell you, this is my first keynote, um, and it, it's different. As I started preparing this, it's like no other training that I've ever prepared, and it's because it's not really a training. It is, we're going to do some things, we're going to have some discussions, we're going to do some really cool things, but it's really about an introduction to lots of cool things that are out there, the endless possibilities. And the whole idea of a keynote is the fact that I have to get you pumped up so you're excited and you're ready to go for the rest of the day. Energy, I never lack. Any of you that know me, train with me, that's never a problem. Trying to hold me back sometimes is a problem. However, trying to do it in this type of a format and have some continuity to it can be a little bit difficult. So if you see me starting to sweat up here, it's just a pressure. All right. The other thing I want you to notice is yes, my title for my keynote was Technology for the Sake of Education. This is also the title for one of my PLNs that I have, my professional learning networks. Um, it is kind of my slogan, it, not that I came up with it, but it's something that I adopted and started living by several years ago because of the fact that being a technology integration specialist and technology integration is a term that is long outlived its time, but we don't really have anything better to replace it. And so therefore, it, 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 it does serve the purpose. So if, when, we, when you see all the cool things that are today, and you are going to see lots of cool things today, please keep in mind that it's not about trying to implement every single one of them, because what you're going to see today will be overwhelming. It gets just a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what is out there. The idea is for you to find what you like and to say, I want to start there and go with it. And that's kind of what it's all about. So for you and your students. You all are going to be getting active slates. Yours are much newer than mine, much more streamlined and a lot more modern looking. But mine serves a purpose. So I actually created this keynote in Active Inspire. Now I am not going to be using it quite as an instructional tool that you would be using it in the classroom because when you're using it with your students, you're going to hand this board off to your students and they're going to do a lot of it. I'm going to do that a few times, but for the most part this morning, <laughs> I'm going to be very controlling and I will have the board. <laughs> okay, so I want to go ahead and make it started and what's really cool about this is it's working from wherever I am in the room. I even stepped out over there and was able to um, get, uh, have it access it and everything was fine. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to do the introduction. You'll notice that there's two pictures up there. Um, you'll see the, the blonde, the cute blonde in the front is Julia House. She is my partner in crime and she gets tickled because I always refer, come on. Oh, don't start being naughty. I was in here, tested it, and everything was fine. Okay, well that link obviously is not gonna work. So, my partner in crime, I had a jail that came up in front of us, so you can see our speaking out of ours. But, and you'll notice, I was a little thinner and a little, a little darker in the hair. She was now a little thinner. That's one of the things about branding, and that's part of what I'm gonna talk about a little bit, is in this day and age, we don't teach the way that our teachers taught and our network is not exactly as our network was for our, um, our teachers. And that's the fact that a lot of what you're going to start doing as time, some of you are already doing this, 
You either have a LinkedIn account, you have a Twitter account, maybe you even have a Facebook account that you set up an educational portal for. Any numbers of things. And how many of you, if I said just peachy, would smile because you know whose line that is? You know? If you, that's, I always, it's like, you ask me how I am and it's just peachy. Well, for the longest time, I had a picture of a peach. Peach, that was my Google, that was my Twitter, that was everything that I had. I went to a conference and was very quickly told, no, people do not associate. They associate that peach with you, but when you meet people, they have no clue as to who you are. So if you're really networking, and so much of the networking we do is online, you need to get over that fear factor of having your picture out there, and you go ahead and put it out there. But what that means is every place you have that picture, when you update it, you need to update it everywhere else. <laughs> so it's like Joy and I obviously need another picture, although I'm not really excited about that. I'm not late. Okay, so we both work for Human Education Technology Consortium. You guys have all gone through some type of a training with us at one point or another. And um, we have a Twitter account. Let's see if this one's going to work. Oh, good, yay. I can take it, only the one didn't work. Okay, so you can follow us on Twitter, and one of the sessions today is actually going to be about Twitter. And Julia and I think is a lot of people. How many of you, if I say Twitter, what do you think of? Shut it out, shut it out. What do you think of? Celebrities. You think of celebrities. Justin Bieber, I know that's got to be going around there somewhere. What else do you think of? Professional Learning Network. Professional Learning Network. That's now, but I'll That's bet me. you there are a lot of people in here, even though they're oh, not okay, saying whatever. that, are like me. When Twitter first came out, I didn't want a Twitter account, didn't have a Twitter account, and saw no point in it. Julia is actually the one who turned me on to a Twitter account because she went to a conference, and at the conference, they asked her, do you have a Twitter account? She says, no, and they're going, really? Why would you not have a Twitter account? She goes, why would I have a Twitter account? And so what happened was they, they expressed the fact that if you choose who you follow and you are careful about what you post, it doesn't have to be about, I'm on my way to Starbucks to get a cup of coffee. Oh, it's Diet Pepsi time. How many of you guys have seen that? You haven't heard that? Okay, when Twitter first came out, you got a lot of that. Justin Bieber stopping at Highway 49 to get a Pepsi, whatever the case may be. If you're following celebrities, you're still gonna get that. But if you follow Twitter, if you set up a Twitter account and you follow professionals, that's what you're going to get. And the cool thing about Twitter is the fact it's kind of like a news feed. As it comes in, it's like, oh, this one looks interesting. You click on the link and you can read the whole thing. If it doesn't look interesting, you're ignore it. I don't want to go into this any further because there's going to be a session about this. However, please keep in mind that when you are doing this, if you want to start out small, just follow Julia. And because of why you see trainers. Because when we put posts out there, we've already screened it. And then what happens, if you notice that we are consistently putting things out there from one or two people that we're retweeting what they're putting out there, and you're going, I like that. Well, we're not putting everything out that they put out. We're filtering it. So then you may pick up a few other people. So it's, again, you have to start somewhere. Okay. Okay, then we also have a website. We have a website? No, the website works fine. Okay, and on that website, you are going to notice that we obviously serve both District 1 and District 70. So right now, there's a movie up there that I created at the District 70 cutoff, kickoff, cutoff, of the District 70 kickoff. So there's lots of things that we put there, but one of the cool things is, is if you come over here and I drag down, okay, you're gonna notice that we also have check out our latest finds, we have get equated with, and I'm gonna talk about all of these people today. And, whoops, I forgot, I didn't have both. Okay, so I just exited it out. Just so you guys get to see how that really works. And now I'm going to pull that and put that to. What does that say? Do you know? The middle one is no. no. I don't want to close it. We won't talk about it. 
long about how long it's been since I've used my slate. So I did practice before I got here, but setting at that angle, so I apologize. I'm going to end up having my back to some of you part of the time. I'm trying to find a good place to hang out. There is a one. Okay, so anyway, over to the right where we have... You're going to notice that we have all kinds of links. And what those links have, we have STEM resources, we have science resources, we have multimedia presentation, we have mobile education, and that's going to be coming big one for all of you here real soon. You guys are going to do lots of things with mobile education. You're moving in that direction. If somebody has to tell you, I can still do it. about some other people and this is all part of the introduction because who am I to do a keynote? I've been to lots of keynotes been to some really good ones been to some really bad ones but you can't steal somebody else's keynote that was the first thing I realized when I had said yes it's like I said yes I just said yes to something and I can't borrow it from somebody else <laughs> so this is tough so what happens is the fact as I am up here talking to you it's not just me that's talking to you. And this is how that works. So if we come down with the suitcase, because I didn't travel to come see you. But I have, yeah. All right. this is what happened. I promise you that the more you use the board, the better the place, the less you struggle. And then bring this out, okay? One of the people we have is Kathy Schrock. How many of you have ever heard of Kathy Schrock? A oh, few of you. Good. Good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and take a look at Kathy. Okay. All right. This takes you to her site. This is one of those people. If I can, and she is a fabulous keynote speaker. If I was.